Welcome to the Student Pilot Podcast. My name is Simon Callis, a flight school owner. Each week, myself and my guests will be talking all things flight training and beyond to help inspire, motivate and support you on your journey to becoming a private or commercial pilot. Welcome to the Student Pilot Podcast, Billy State. How the devil are you? I'm good. You're good. <laughs> Just come back from your cruise. Yeah, my med cruise. Your med cruise. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, Billy is one of our PPL license holders. Um, recently passed this year. We've uh, done some flights together, haven't we? We've had some fun doing that. Yeah. Um, so, let's talk about your journey to becoming a private pilot. Okay, so you started off on our fast track program during COVID, and unfortunately, there was lockdowns and then you got deployed with your job didn't you so there was some gaps and things yeah. um so you ended up on the um learn at your own pace program but let's go right back to before it started can you remember how you felt about learning to fly before it started i can remember speaking to you for a long time on the yeah, phone yeah. about different things you had different preconceptions worries you had about learning to fly yeah can you go through some of those with us and see what it was actually like when you got into it yeah definitely um, so to begin with, I didn't, I didn't think I would be able to, to do it. I didn't think okay. I'd be clever enough. Um, cause you just, well, all the pilots that I know through the military are super intelligent. Um, yeah. So that was one of the main things. I didn't know if I'd actually be able to complete it. And then it was just, you know, did I, was I, was I clever enough? It, it was then the money you don't before you get into it, you don't know the actual process, do you? Yeah. And yeah. it's quite a lot to kind of... Yeah. I spent yeah. a lot of time researching everything, like the pathways and stuff and what you need to do. Mm-hmm. But until you do it, yeah, yeah. or yeah. you meet other people that have done it, yeah, it's difficult to... No, I know you had some specific worries, didn't you, about... So the first mm. one really I remember was that... Um, you were sort of worried about if your maths was good enough and stuff like that. And I remember yeah. talking, you, yeah. did, you know, a lot of it, you don't need to be good at maths. It's just learning no. procedures yeah, and things. Yeah, there's, there's so many, like, tips and tricks that you yeah. kind of learn along the way. Um, but, I mean, I only... I had, like, grade C in, in maths. And I thought, you know, surely you need more than that. Um, but with the, you know, I, I've done, like, an engineering degree, like, you, you think I wouldn't be worried about that, but it's still... Don't know what you don't know. Though, do no, you? exactly. That's the thing. And the other thing, which I found quite amusing, because this was me as well, was um, I was scared of height. Well, I am scared of heights. Yeah. But I can't go up a ladder. I hate it. Yeah, you know, yeah I, I can't jump off a three-metre and a one-metre diving board. And I remember having this conversation <laughs> with you about it, because everyone always says to me that says I'm scared of heights. I tell them I'm scared of heights, and they go, oh, you just... Yeah, no, no, no. Just no. trying I'm to persuade me into absolutely it. Absolutely sort of terrified. Yeah, but, but it's different, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, yeah, it's really different. Um, but yeah, that was one of the things. And I'm terrified of... Well, I was never used, used to be scared of flying, because I loved it as a kid. Mm-hmm. Um, but as I got older, for some reason, I think, I don't know, I worked in a uh, safety uh, aviation environment for a bit with, with the military. Yeah. And I think since then, I was, I just got more and more scared to fly. Okay. Um, each, you know, the turbulence and, and it was completely irrational, 100% irrational fear. Yeah. But, I, you know, you just can't help it, can you? I think it's learned fear though, isn't it? Yeah. Learned and, that. you know, I know how to fix aircraft. You yeah. Think, yeah. Why would I be scared of flying? Um, but anyway, yeah, so I was terrified of flying in general, never mind getting up in a little <laughs> little plane. Uh, do you think when you actually did it, was it as you expected it to be? Or? Um, I think when you're up there and you're, you see how the, the aircraft floats in the sky, um, it's so difficult to get the aircraft down in general. Yeah. That it think, wants to fly. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And this is the thing, you think, well, you know, it, it can't be it can't be as easy as this but it but it is and yeah once you've got your head around it it's fine like yeah it actually gives you a lot more confidence and i think the heights thing as well is i find that because it's not relative to there's nothing around you at the same yeah. height so you can't actually physically tell how high you are then the ground starts to yeah. look a bit different yeah. so well, it's not as if you're going to fall out of the plane yeah yeah exactly i think but if i was falling out it'd be a bit different yeah but you know like if you um if you look off the side of a, a tall building, like you get a skyscraper yeah. or something, it's like you can see how far down it is yeah. to the road or whatever. But yeah. 
you're not there's nothing relative to you yeah. is there so yeah. it kind of, and I think because you sat down and you strapped in and all the rest of it it's a bit you've just got too much to think about well yeah exactly <laughs> yeah <laughs> no exactly time to be scared of anything but um so how far into the course did you start to feel like I can actually do this um I I think it it still took quite a while because I was you know kept having so many breaks yeah kept seeing everyone else go past me yeah and it just felt like it was never going to happen. Yeah. And then, like, there was issues with weather or... Yeah, yeah. There was always something. And you think, I mean, that, that was the thing. I think that you, obviously, through circumstances outside your control, coming off the fast track was probably yeah. quite a negative thing for you yeah. at the time. And do you feel like when you stopped flying frequently and you had the gaps that it all started going backwards a bit? Or? Well, as soon as you, you'd come in, you'd, you'd, you'd lack confidence because you'd think it's been too long. Yeah. I need to go backwards to go forwards again. Yeah. And it happened every, every yeah, yeah. couple of months. Like, it was crazy. So. Yeah, exactly. No, I get that. Um, and do you... Because you're quite a motivated person, that's the thing. I think anybody else might have... You know, I, I told you my story. I gave it three times for the similar reasons, yeah. right? So do you think that, you know, anybody going into it and learn at their own pace, do you think they're already kind of... Um, putting themselves at a, a negative start if they, they need to be really motivated don't yeah, they, to get through yeah. it you've yeah got, you've got to have like a plan and yeah. you've got to have like structure yeah I exactly think. otherwise you just kind of float along and yeah gets a bit kind of and I think the um, the one thing with the fast track which I like is that you know when the end of your course date is yeah so yeah. You've, you've got a goal so I, I think having that competition as well with other people yeah or obviously if you're competitive like me <laughs> you're then not that's like a massive, are you? <laughs> it's a massive bonus having like everyone start at yeah. a particular time and you yeah know, that that was quite and i think i reckon that was probably good. one of the hardest things oh you. god yeah just, just seeing everyone pass before you that yeah well the viewers don't you don't know billy but she used to ring me up and say, right, how come this person went on their QXC? How the hell did that happen? And it's because they were still on that program, weren't they? Yeah. They were still in the process. Yeah. So it's, yeah, it's a tough one. But it, I think that might be motivational for you. you oh, know? yeah, definitely. Yeah. Any, yeah. any kind of competition, that's, for me, that's kind of a good thing. Yeah. You need that sometimes, I think. So in terms of the the fast track would you have if you could have stayed on that you'd have preferred to stay on that process rather than going yeah, on a learn yeah. your own pace yeah definitely just yeah. the structure and um just how it was kind of set out you, you knew what you had to do yeah um yeah yeah just no, like exactly. tick things off as you go and things like the the weather causing problems i mean that in the fast track that's kind of dealt with because we've got all your bookings in yeah. but when you learn at your own pace and it's just, it's got music on in the Sorry. back. <laughs> <laughs> when, you, when you've got the, um, you know, that kind of those breaks coming up, and there's nothing you can do about it. It's so frustrating, oh isn't it? Oh my god! It so is. I, I would have a plan to take loads of time off work. Yeah. Um, I'd take the time off, come down, and then the weather would be bad. Bad. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and that could go on for days. Yeah. No and days. you think, well, I've just used all my annual leave. And nothing's happened. Yeah, I've, well, I've it's not achieved this, anything. It's happened this week. You know, we haven't yeah. flown most of the week. It's been yeah. bad. I mean, that that is frustrating. But yeah, you've kind of got to accept that that's. So part anybody of it. thinking that they can't do fast track, but they want to do learn at your own pace, what would you say are the key things to make sure you get through it? Um, so I, you you obviously got the goal to be yeah. a pilot. Yeah. But then I would always be watching YouTube videos and. Yeah. Uh, like podcasts, listening to people that have done it. Yeah. Uh, you find like pilots that you kind of um, not look up to, but mm. you know, you, you've got an idea of what you want it to be like when you pass. So yeah. you're always like watching, oops, sorry. Breaking uh, <laughs> what, <laughs> Watching like, uh, you know, guys off Instagram, yeah. YouTube. Uh, I do a lot of. Um, I don't know, not not like learning off yeah. there, but it, it's good to see what other people do and how, how Focusing they've gone you about to, Yeah, and yeah. you think, okay, so that's kind of like your motivation to keep going. Yeah. Um, so I guess really it's making sure the reason why you're doing it's strong enough to get through it. Oh, yeah, definitely, yeah. definitely. Yeah. If, if it's not 100%, then it's a lot yeah. of money to, to spend yeah. on... And that's one of the anything. things I actually find with um, people who learn at your own pace, they quite often, they're they don't foresee the end if you see what I mean so they yeah. they're not looking far enough ahead whereas yeah. 
the fast track people generally are more motivated in that they're sort of, when you're talking to them they're sort of saying well when I finish I'm going to be going here and here and yeah. here yeah. and they learn at your own pace people it's almost like it's not quite within their reach because yeah. they've been taking too long to mm. do it so I think that's yeah. another important point as well but also I think it, it was good being fast track because you had that that kind of plan and yeah. everything was kind of factored in yeah but then you forget you need to enjoy enjoy the process yeah because as yeah, soon yeah. as you you do the test like i haven't flown since i've done my test and i feel like obviously um, that's all we have haven't you well we did that trip to wales yeah, yeah, yeah. that's i think that was it um but yeah then you, you're kind of out of the yeah. training loop and then you like oh well it's an anti-climax, uh, isn't it? It is. I, it I is. keep saying that to people because I remember when I passed, I was thinking, is this it? Yeah. You know, and yeah. Then it, then well, I, still didn't, yeah. I still didn't believe it for, for weeks and then I never told anyone because I felt embarrassed. Really? And then, Why? Well, you feel like you're bragging then, don't you? And you, think, you wait all this time to become a pilot and you're like, oh, I'm not going to tell <laughs> you anyone now. tell anyone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like it's, um, it's weird though because it's like you say, you get to the end and then yeah. it's like, what do I do now? So yeah. I think the biggest thing is doing what we're doing, you know, recently yeah. is, is yeah. doing some trips. Yeah. Um, Having a, like a, another plan of yeah. like, you what know, you ratings next? you can do. Or, yeah. Um, but yeah, because otherwise it, it all just kind of tails off and yeah. you don't want it to be for nothing. Yeah, absolutely. And I think the... Um, you've got to remain motivated to carry on flying because yeah. you, you haven't you then haven't got a goal as such yeah because well, well, then it just seems so overwhelming because you've got yeah. so much more still to do yeah and you've just been focusing on that first goal of getting the license yeah and then it's like now you need new goals yeah absolutely and you know what i found weird as well because when i was a student obviously when you go solo you think yeah i'm flying the plane by myself and all the rest of it but you're doing these routes that you and the instructor did together. Yeah. And they've signed you off to do it, so you know it's going to be as safe as it can yeah, be for you yeah. to do it. Um, but when you go and get your license, it's like, well, where do I go now? I don't know anywhere. Yeah. I don't know this. And then you can quite easily get into this trap of just flying the same places yeah, you've been before. Yeah. So I think sometimes just saying, right, we're going to go here and then go and push yourself a yeah. little bit. It's yeah, good definitely. fun, isn't it? Yeah. You know? And like yeah. finding other people that want to fly. Yeah, exactly. And... and it's... Um, you know, you go and have a foot. You know, we had a fun day out, and we went to Carnarvon, yeah. spend yeah, the day there, the beach. go on the beach, all that stuff. It's great fun. Yeah. So yeah, all that stuff's good fun to do afterwards, and I think you just got to keep making the yeah, plans, definitely. haven't you? So one of the things that um, has come up recently that I've been talking to people about, and I'm sorry if I keep using you as an example oh, because no. yeah, what I know. Have you been saying? What have you been saying? <laughs> 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 no, I've had three people recently all suffering with motion sickness. Okay. Like bad, yeah. right? Um, and I use you as an example and I use Nikita as an example because Nikita still actually suffers a bit. Yeah. Um, but you got over yours. Yeah. Um, and I say to most people that a lot of it you will grow out of yeah, or you'll definitely. find ways yeah. of dealing with it. Yeah. So tell us about your motion sickness, how it came about in the first place. You know, did it, was it something that came about f as you flew or was it something that was prior um, to that? Or? So I started, as an adult, I started getting... Um, seasick and mm -hmm. car sick okay um but you just assume it's just doing those things not that it's yeah. full motion yeah. sickness um so obviously flying i found out i was motion sick or flying sick i don't know yeah. what you call it <laughs> <laughs> um so yeah that was a bit of an issue but yeah. it is not it's not an issue that would stop stop me flying I just yeah. had to find a way around yeah. it yeah uh, so i started wearing these little patches okay. you know per behind your ear yeah I uh, just got them off Amazon. Mm -hmm. um, so Do you remember what they're called for anybody listening? No, I if don't remember, but you, they're just like a generic, okay. uh, like seasickness kind of patches that you okay. can get. Um, and how and how did it present itself in your flights? Were you you weren't actually sick, were you? Or no, I, luckily, thankfully. <laughs> um, but it, it'd get towards the end of the flight, and yeah. then it would hit you, and right. you just like, I can't talk. Don't talk to me. We need to get down. <laughs> and then your stomach would go as well. So. You, Oh, yeah, it's, it's awful. But yeah. the more you fly, the, the, easier. the easier it yeah. kind of got. And then it just disappeared altogether. Yeah. So now no patches, nothing. Uh, I've obviously just come back from a, a Navy deployment. Yeah. Uh, I thought I'd be seasick, but it's totally fine. Like, it seems to have cured... Just, just the alcohol <laughs> <laughs> it, it seems to have cured everything. Like, oh, ne wow. never mind just, you know, flying. So. Yeah, because, you know, there was a guy recently who... Um, 
his was so bad that it hit him after the flight. Yeah. And then he was going home and he said to me that there was one flight he did where he literally went home, got into bed and that was yeah. it for the yeah. day, finished. Yeah. And um, he was going to quit the course. But okay. we, I told him about your patch. In fact, yeah, I remember yeah. texting you. You got yeah, back yeah, to me really, really quick, actually. I was like, oh, she's on the ball today. <laughs> but he's trying them now. Okay. And, and he says it's, it's working. Oh, that's good. Yeah. yeah. I think you just got to stick with it. It's like not yeah. it's not the end of the world. And also, I think eating before you go, which you yeah. think you wouldn't want to eat yeah. in case you threw it up. But it definitely, going up on an empty stomach was not yeah. a good idea. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's weird how it's cured yeah. everything. Yeah, yeah like absolutely. Not, not just flying, but... So you... Um, Obviously, you've, you've got your license now. You, you're making plans. You're talking about doing instrument rating restricted or something later on, wasn't it? You were talking about was it yep, with yep. night rating as night well? Night rating. Um, what, what advice would you give anybody starting out now who's, you know, just because you've been through the whole process and you've yeah. kind of um, done some things and, and realized some things about, you know, yourself and how yeah. you could deal with it. What, what would you say to somebody starting out who's a bit doubtful of whether they can do it and, you know, what perhaps some tips and things you could give them um so i'd say have have the money already saved up okay before you start and then a contingency yeah like bit on top yeah because uh, you don't want to be worrying about whether yeah. you're going to be able to pay for it as you go along um and i think it helped paying off like chunks yeah of the money so i'd, I'd never even thought about it it's yeah. just something you know it came out my savings and yeah yeah it's like a, a worry you don't need to have on top of everything else. Yeah. Um, studying, like I did lots of the apps and stuff that you mm -hmm. can get, um, you know, the question banks. Yeah. Um, what else? So I suppose with the money and things, it's getting the right advice in the first place. Because I know we spent a lot of time, didn't we, talking through how everything works and yeah, all the rest of it. Yeah. In fact, um, just because people sort of say about, oh, you know, I shouldn't ask loads of questions, right? So Billy started in lockdown and yeah. we were actually locked down when we first started talking. So we spent, I think, over a few phone calls. It was nearly eight hours on the phone chatting well, I, about I all these. To be sure, I don't, yeah, no, I don't mind that. It was, uh, <laughs> but I, I like to say to people, get as much advice as you feel, because yeah. if it's not right, I'd rather you not do it. Do you oh, know yeah. What I mean? And it's, you've got um, to find like a school that you feel comfortable, comfortable with. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. like you, especially as, I don't know, maybe not as a female, but you always like a bit daunted yeah. when you walk into somewhere and you don't know anyone. Yeah. You think everyone's going to think what you're doing here like why are you here we already knew you before you came we spent <laughs> that much time with you <laughs> um, but yeah I think that's just the confidence thing yeah um, uh, yeah and I think when you get to know everyone and yeah. you see that other people doing it and you think actually it's not yeah. so unachievable as you first think and I think that was um, that was one of the real benefits I find with the fast track students because they generally like fly on the same days each week it's yeah. the same people every week yeah so you yeah. see the same faces and you kind of spur each other on yeah in fact I remember I think it was Sam when he um was it when he did his QXC and you, you were like what's he no, 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 no. <laughs> how has he done that <laughs> I can't remember whether it was Sam was it Sam or was it Mel? I can't remember. There was one of them, but you were a bit like, the competitive streak came out. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't want to be last. That's the only thing. You weren't last. You weren't last. Um, so if so, basically, tips for other people. And you said, obviously, make sure you get some yeah. advice, get your budget yeah. ready, contingency. Make, make sure it's, it's really what you want to do. Yeah. yeah. Uh, money was a big thing. Yeah. And the exams, like get the yeah. exams done as soon as possible yeah like don't so, don't wait but then don't yeah. also do what i did and well, this is this is a <laughs> funny story so <clears throat> the exams we always say to people try and get them done economically get them done as you know as quick as you can anyway billy did misinterpret i think what i said <laughs> and she did five exams in one day well i <laughs> thought you that... had to do all of them in one in one <laughs> sitting so i would come out after I... five like <laughs> my eyes were bleeding couldn't even see straight uh, i just and, thought you were uh... very keen at doing the exams so i wasn't gonna hold you back <laughs> i can't even see straight anymore like what? <laughs> but yeah so billy did five in one day you don't have to do that by no. the way but yeah, getting them out of the way tip. don't don't think you have to do everything all in one go. <laughs> but I think getting them out of the way helps you. Oh, now I look back, I think, yeah, yeah, it was kind of better to get everything done. Because you do get other people who kind of try and leave them yeah, as long as they can. Yeah, definitely not worth it. Like, probably Because when, you, when yeah. you come in, you just want to fly. You don't, want, yeah, yeah. you don't want other stuff on top of that. 
No, but I, I was like that. I just wanted to fly. I didn't want to do the exams. Yeah. And if I could have paid somebody else to do them, I would oh, have done yeah. that. <laughs> yeah. But, um, so yeah, top tips then. So we got get the right advice, do a good budget for it, yeah. um, put some contingency in, because a lot of people don't realise, and I always bang on about this, so it's not a 45-hour course. It's a 45-hour minimum course. Yeah. Yeah. And the national average is actually closer to 60 hours. So yeah. I always say to people, budget for 60, then you might be ahead of that still, but you're not going to be as disappointed as if you'd only had the funds for 45. Yeah, I think it's important not to think I'm going to do it in the bare minimum. Yeah. Because no, no many people that do. No, it's, it's usually, to be honest, if I could be very stereotypical, it's usually the young kids yeah. who have no other Responsibly responsibilities. Don't yeah. have work or exactly. uni or... Yeah, exactly that. No mortgages, all that yeah. stuff. Um so if you did it all again, is there anything you would change? I don't, I've thought about this and I don't think there is anything I would change. Okay. A- apart from obviously trying to get it done a bit quicker rather than yeah. going backwards and forwards. But that couldn't, couldn't have been helped. No, no. Um, Covid, work. You could foresee the COVID because you, you signed up in COVID. Yeah, so we yeah, knew you yeah. knew what we were into then, but the deployment, you couldn't really, that could happen no, anytime. No, that, yeah, so, that kind of messed things up. And yeah. after like three months, you're like, oh, I've definitely forgotten everything. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. Then, <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. So then you're going yeah. backwards and forwards. And, yeah. And then it'd be bad weather. Yeah. So it, it was so frustrating at the time. Yeah. But um, you look back and... It was enjoyable though, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, it was yeah, good it's fun. always enjoyable. I like coming but down. But you know what impressed me the out. most is a lot of people that have had the setbacks that you had um, with all these, these gaps because of your deployment and things. Some of them would have given up and yeah. you didn't. You didn't give up. You came back. Well, I don't more. know if that's just I'm so tight with money. <laughs> so tight with <laughs> money. <not, laughs> I am getting through this, whether yeah. it kills me. Um, yeah, well, I, no, I yeah. remember a conversation with you where you were like really like oh, no, it's just not going to happen I'm I know like, you just think it it's never going to yeah. it's never going to happen but but that I, I remember the day you passed that was a brilliant day yeah because when, when you see people who've had a bit of a struggle and they finally get through to it and they just can't believe it yeah but then I passed and I, I didn't believe it I, was I know like, no that can't be it <laughs> I, I don't think no yeah um, a lot of people are absolutely terrified of the skills test i was i actually felt physically sick before my skills test and i yeah Yeah. yeah, i remember and it's night before yeah yeah not good and uh, (laughs) i I remember you walking out and i was like you're right (laughs) (laughs) before you got in the plane i was like shit this is bad (laughs) yeah you're almost like ready just like no i can't do it like you just don't want to go through the embarrassment of failing anything do you and you didn't fail no it was great no i know but then do you know what was weird is I kept having like mock tests with Steve, yeah. uh, my instructor, yeah. and um, they kept going really well. And I was like, "No, this is this is not <laughs> right." Believe him. No, it, he's being too nice to me. Like it should be harder. Like, you know, do something more difficult, and and it yeah. would go fine. Yeah. But obviously, in the exam, I think everything that went changes. Yeah. Everything that could have gone wrong went wrong. Really? <laughs> but I don't. I don't reckon that, that's the thing because I think. Well, the instructor, the the examiner didn't think anything was that bad, but in your head. It's yeah, so big, and you're like, he's he's failed me. He's failed me. Yeah. I might as well just yeah. give up now and go back. And then you think, no, like if I failed, then I'll just relax. And I just... think that's the good thing. If you sort of early on in the testing, yeah. think, oh god, this is bad, yeah. and then you just relax, mm. then it goes better, doesn't it? Yeah, because you, you think, know, well, so... sod it, I've got nothing to lose now. Yeah, I um, I remember on the day of my test because I felt so ill. I even said to the examiner, I'm not sure that I should do this, and he was like, look, I think you're really stressed. I think yeah. you just go up and do it. And then, you know, what's the worst that can happen if you don't pass, we do yeah, it again, you Yeah, know? but it's hard to, to think like that. Yeah, it's, 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 it's easy to yeah, say it. Yeah, exactly. But I think, you know, a lot of people get head up about it. And I think the main thing to take from it is that trust the process because you're not going to go all that way to skill sets no. without, you know, your instructor yeah. has got to recommend you for tests. Yeah. And there's so much due diligence done on you before that happens yeah. that there's no way you're going to go forward to test if you're not ready. Mm. The only thing that's going to go wrong in a day is if mainly if your nerves take over. Yeah. Or you make a mistake, you know. So, and they're, you know, again, they're not looking for perfection, are they? They well, just want to see you safe. That's what you forget. Yeah. That you think it has to be perfect and it doesn't. I say to people, a lot of the thing as well is if you cock something up and you know you've cocked it up, just hold up your hand and say, look, I made a mistake there. I, you know, I, I went, you know, I've climbed by 150 yeah. feet. I know what happened. I'm putting it right. Blah, yeah, blah, blah, yeah. blah, blah. Most of it is just about recognising what you did wrong yeah. so that they know that it hasn't gone unnoticed. Yeah. Yeah. So I mean? constantly talking about what yeah, you're doing, talk, just talk like a driving it. test, I guess. Yeah. Vocalise what's going right or what's going wrong. Yeah. <laughs> 
And then the likelihood is it's probably not as bad as what you think. <laughs> oh, yeah. I thought mine was dreadful. But, but yeah, you passed. But somehow I passed. <laughs> and he actually said you were very good as well. Well, I think he was joking. <laughs> <laughs> no, he did. He said he you was, were very he good. He was joking. He's I'm sure he was. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't. No, but no, honestly, a lot of people have this fear about skills testing. It's completely unfounded. You know, at the end of the day, we're not going to put you forward for a test unless you're no. not ready. Yeah. You know, but, um, well, that's, you know, that's us done, I think. Thank you very much for coming on the show, Billy, and, and sharing your experience with us. What's next for Billy now? Next, uh, hopefully the night rating ah. and then instrument rating. I've got one more deployment to go. And then she's, oh, this is not a, it's a cruise. It's a cruise. <laughs> no, this she, is she, a proper she says she's now. going off to these things, right? She was on the cruise. <laughs> the last one was a med cruise. Like, I've got to admit that. But um, <laughs> if you like this episode, please like, subscribe, and ding the bell to receive notifications of the next episode.